Hello students, I welcome you to the online classes of Bardon Model School. I am Jayadeep Chatterjee. Teaching will teach you science. Uh, this is for class two. Hope students you are all well and fine during this period, crucial period. This is your science book. Okay, this is class two science book. You just open uh, chapter number one, that is Plant Kingdom, page number five. Okay, I think you will all follow the class and open the chapter, page number five. Let us see what is this there inside the chapter. See here, look, uh, first one plants grow all around us. You know, plants. There are different types of plants are there, they grow all around us. Like us, plants are also living things, but plants do not move from one place to another. So, plants are living things, but they do not move from one place to another, just like human beings. They only show movement of their parts. Okay? Some plants are big and some plants are tall. Some are small and some are short. Some plants grow on the ground and some grow in water. So, around you there are different types of plants. Some are big, some are small, some grow on the ground, some grow in water. So, next one we will read about trees. Trees, see here trees. Trees, see here, trees are big and strong plants. They have hard and strong stem called trunk. So, you have seen, I think, everyone has seen the tree. They have the strong stem and strong and hard stem that is called trunk. They are very strong plants. Suppose a mango plant, you have seen the mango plant. Trees live for many years. Some of them like neem tree and banyan tree live for hundreds of years. These are the names of some trees you must note down there or you can underline neem tree and banyan tree which live for hundreds of years. See the picture that is the banyan tree, this is a neem tree, this is a mango tree. Okay? These are all trees, they have this strong and hard stem called the trunk. Next one, we will read about shrubs. See here, so what are shrubs? You can underline this one. Shrubs are small plants, they have hard and thin stem with many branches. So, the plants which have hard and thin stem, the, what is the difference between tree and shrub? Tree has hard and strong stem, but they are in these shrubs, their stem is thin and they are hard but thin with many branches. Most of them live for few years, but trees are living for many years. See examples, examples you note down, there, there is rose plant, there is cotton plant and there is henna plant. Henna you know it is mehendi, it gives color. Okay? Turn to next page, this is page number 6, then next one is herbs. So what are herbs? Herbs are also plants, but they are very small plants. They are smaller than shrubs. So we have read tree, tree is bigger plant, they grow very tall. Shrubs, medium height, they are not as tall as the trees and we will read herbs, they are smaller than the shrubs. Their stems are thin and soft, you can underline. Most herbs live only for a few months. So, herbs are living for few months and their stem is very soft, very soft, very soft and thin. So, see the difference, tree has a hard stem, hard and strong stem. Shrub has 
hard and thin stem the stem is not so wide not so big and this herbs have very thin and soft stem see the picture of the herbs this is the rice this is the mint mint you know pudina pudina you know and this is this is a medicinal one and this is tomato these are all herbs okay so this you learn uh, tree shrubs and herbs then next one is coming climbers 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 is also plant see some plants have a very weak stem their stem is very weak they cannot stand straight but most probably you have seen money plant they cannot stand straight they just lie down when you just make them stand straight they just fall down okay why because their stem is very weak they cannot stand straight on their own they need some support like wall stick or other plants to climb up so they need some support you have to give some support to make them stand these plants are called climbers climbers means they are climbing climbing and growing some climbers like pea and beans live for a few months others like money plant and grape vine live for a few years see the example you just note down you can underline pea grape vine and money plant so what happen some climbers like peas and beans live for few month and others like money plant and grape vine live for few years so climbers i think you have understood next one is creepers so previous one we have read climbers no this is climbers next one we'll read creepers this is creepers what are creepers let us learn see creepers are also plant but their stem is also very weak creepers have a weak stem they grow along the ground as they have no support so creepers also is just like climbers but difference between climbers is they have weak stem they are also weak stem they grow they need the support to grow but creepers they crawl they actually grow along the ground as they don't have support jamon bottle gourd suppose example is bottle gourd watermelon pumpkin say they crawl along the ground say means that means they grow along the ground they are creepers so students uh, we have learned so many plants first of all we learn about trees then we have learned about shrubs then we have learned about herbs then climbers then creepers so all of you just uh, do one thing they will just uh, mention you just underline the example and memorize the example of different types of plants then one uh, thing another thing is this is very important you have to draw this one you have to practice the drawing parts of a plant you can see there parts of a plant you draw one plant you show the different parts different parts is means suppose you draw a plant you show the stem what is the function of the stem then you label the flower draw the flower and label it then you draw the root root of the plant then the bud then the fruit then leaf these are different parts this is very important from this chapter very very important stem what is the function of the stem stem it carries water and food to all parts of the plant tell what happen root what does the root gives you root fixes the plant it fixes the plant in the soil it takes up water you are giving water to the plant so it takes the water and mineral salts from the soil and it send it to the stem and what does stem do stem carries the water and food to all parts of the plants then comes flower flower what happen it changes into fruit 
so flower changes into fruit then comes bud it grows into a flower bud you know it grows into a flower then comes fruit fruit has seeds inside it from that seed another new plant will grow you know when you sow it in the soil you give water sunlight it will grow again new plants next is leaf leaf water it is it makes the food for the plant it is called the kitchen of the plant okay for leaf makes the food for the plants they uh, trap the sunlight and most probably the green plants they prepare food with the help of this leaf the process is called photosynthesis you should learn this one so your uh, chapter is just a bit end uh, here you just learn these things uh, this trees uh, the shrubs this herbs this climbers creepers this one and then parts of the plant this is very important for you you just uh, draw it and label the every parts and you write the function of each part so uh, next thank you for your class uh, next one we will see about that exercise thank you